I have something for you. It... it's a book. It's a subject you're familiar with. The book is by Shartan, the elf who helped Andraste free the slaves. You know about him, right? Of course I know about him. What do you take me for? I certainly didn't learn from books, though. Do you think they teach slaves to read? It's not too late to learn, Fenris. Is that what this is? Let's teach the poor slave to read? Ugh. Ignore me. You are not responsible for my deficiencies. I do appreciate your gift. I've always wanted to learn more of Shartan. Perhaps this is my chance. Take a look at this. A Blade of Mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. It seems like a regular sword. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same, or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinter would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end... poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Sir Heron, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. I'd like you to have it. You think I wish to carry a symbol of Imperial honor? You must be joking. Keep your sword. Sell it, melt it down. I want nothing to do with its filthy magic. <laughs>